Hi guys, in this tutorial we'll explore some of the new Projection 3D features. So let's get started. In the new version, you can immediately import images to the generated positions. Now, if you don't generate a position, then after importing images, it will be set at zero. You can also copy objects position by simply selecting and importing the image. As you can see, the image is in the same position as the cube. So now let's see how it works in practice. Generate position and import the sign image. As you can see, this new feature significantly speeds up your workflow. The only thing you need is to know how to adjust the size. See the object's location from the top. Now you can really see that the plugin now works much faster. We'll see this if we import a thousand polygon sphere into the scene. Now let's compare it to the old version. As you can see, the old one imports 1000 polygons in about a minute. Now let's compare that with the new version and the same object. So you can clearly see that it's probably about 10 times faster than it used to be. In the new version, you can also export masks, solids, and complex 3D objects. As you can see, I import objects in OBJ format and open them in 3D Viewer. Now let's add some more complex objects. You can export things like grouped objects, mask surfaces, anything really. So select all objects in the scene and click file slash expert obj. Select and open it in 3D viewer. And you can see that all objects are right there. You can also group all objects into one. Change the scale and rotation. After exporting, all these parameters will be taken into account. Now let's create a symbol animation and export the camera. Okay, first we need to save the scene in OBJ. I'm 
Cool. Now export the camera. Choose 3DS Max. Open 3DS Max, file slash import. And there we go. Now go to Max script slash run script and open it. Press C to switch to camera view. And now your animation created in After Effects is in the 3DS Max. Okay, now let's export our animation to Blender. Now, since After Effects world scale is 100 times bigger than Blender's work scale, we need to reduce the camera animation size. Okay, open Blender, go to File, Import, Wavefront, OBJ, choose your OBJ file. I'm just going to reduce the size to about about 100 times. Cool. Now open text editor, then open text block and choose your camera python file. Run the script. And go back to 3D view. Select projection cam, go to view, cameras, set active object as camera, and that's it. You've just exported your animation. Now just export to Maya. Here's the same situation. You need to reduce the scale of the camera by 100 times. In Maya menu, open Scene and choose the camera. Then go to Panels, Perspective, and choose the camera. Great, now click File, Import, and choose OBJ file. That's it. We also added the ability to switch camera views very quickly. Also, you can now enable or disable hidden layers. Or you can make the solo layer. We also expanded Anchor Point Editor functionality. If you check Reposition Only Anchor Point, the object will move, but Position Point will remain. We've also added the ability to work with 2D objects. Now there's a utility menu. So why don't we explore each of them separately? Now, I'm sure that each of us had to in increase the scene duration at some point or another. But when the scene is created, the manual increase in duration is a very boring process. So, in cases like this, a uh, duration utility can help you with that. After you've increased the duration of the composition, just click Add Duration. That's it. You've increased duration of all layers and all compositions and subcompositions at the same time with only one click. Now you can increase the duration by moving the keys. It's a very useful thing indeed.
Another useful utility is called Blur Edges. This thing, you can soften the sharp edges of your objects. In the Spherize tool tutorial, you can see how to utilize this feature in practice. Another one's called Group Objects. This command also can be found in the main menu. When you work in mini mode, you can find this command in utilities menu. You can also find the anchor point editor here, which is also not visible when projection 3D is in the mini mode. Now we've also added another great feature that will help you create surfaces from points. That saves a lot of time. Now, here we have a ready projected scene. So let's create a, a ground plane to generate a position. Copy the generated position control. Now generate a house position from two points. Now select both controls, open Tools menu, and choose Generate Plane from Points. Now if we look from the top view, we can see created plane copies positioned off the walls. If we draw a mask along the outline of the wall, we can get that wall. And then we can extrude it right on the spot. Cool, right? And not only that works with extrusion, now all tools can be applied right on demand, so you don't need to spend time on tedious positioning. Okay, that's all for now, guys. We should probably go and practice all these tricks. See you in the next tutorial.